friends welcome back to my youtube channel today i am showing some of the exercise uh, small exercise for the lighting fixes and uh, how to place the switches and uh, wiring tags and everything so we are using some kind of wires and uh, how we can uh, how how we can give the tag for this wire that kind of things i am explaining over here so we'll start with that if you like my video please subscribe my channel so go to here in the system tab from here you can choose the lighting fixture then uh, you need to choose the family whichever you want to use it so i'll have some of the ceiling mounted family so i'm using 34 uh, this this family i'm using over here so as per the grid i'm arranging before that if you can go to the annotate and you can take the spot elevations also so the ceiling height is around uh, 3000 so you can fix the family over on that so automatically it will fix over there so you can just place it one family over here so if you select this one and you can give uh, the automatically this family is uh, mounted at uh, play hosted at uh, 3000 so just uh, go to the 3d view you can uh, see the view of the uh, lighting fixture so it was showing like that and you go to here and if you want to align this one as per the grid okay so you can align also so if you can select the align al command and just uh, select the grid line and align with this one and align with this also you can do it align with this you can fix it as per your uh, requirement so I'm, I'm using this one and once you've done that one just a cs or a right click create similar and you can place another family another lighting pieces over here in the ceiling grid and another one you can place over here another one you can place over here and another another one you can place it over here or whichever the space utilization and lighting calculation as per the lighting calculation you can use the place the lighting families okay my main concern is like a wiring tags and everything so i'm just placing one lights over here and another lights over here another one over here and another one over here placing like this okay for example i'm placing one grid over here and i'm, I'm placing the light like this Okay, so you can easily place the lights like this. So once you've done this uh, lighting um, lighting fixes, and if you can go, go to the 3D view, you can see clearly see all the lights are fixed over there. And then uh, we just need to put some wires and everything over here, right? So I'm just create similar, and I'm placing one lights over here also. Then wh what we can do? We first we need to give the electrical equipment. So I'm just choosing this. Uh, um, some of the uh, lighting dbs so i'm choosing this lighting db is around 250 so i'm just placing this one place uh, sorry we need to go to the floor plan and we just need to give the lighting lighting db over here so i'm just placing this the lighting dbs over here so we just need to change this one i can say select this one okay then then what we need to do we just need to uh, we just need, we can give some panel name also here db some names you can give it ldb something like that you can give and then you just need to select the uh, light and give a power for this so, okay so it was working so just uh, we just we can give the wiring for this one so select the light fixes and just give a wire for this one select the panel name this one and just give a chamfered wire so same process for all the things okay so just need to select this one and give a power for this and then what you need to do we need to give us some switches also so for the switches you go to the system tab again and you can get the devices from here a lighting device then you can choose whichever families you have you can uh, use it that one so uh, for example i'm just using one gang switch for this one so i can place uh, one switch over here another switch i am placing over here another switch i am placing over here and here you can place one switch and for this one we can place one switch over here one switch over here so this switch will be controlled for this control for this uh, all the light okay so for example how we can give this that the switching system select the light press control key and uh, give the switching system from here and select switch so automatically you can see it was uh, uh, it was it was showing that uh, this this switch is controlling to this this much lights the same process for here also select the uh, light and give a switching 
and select the switch so you can give the switching systems over here for this one also you can give the same method like you can select the all the light and give a switch and select the switch from here so that will uh, that that means it was controlling by the switches for this one also you can give the same process so just to give a switching system and select a switch give give that one so that will control to that one so from for, for here also you can give the same process so for example this one no need so and select that one select the switch and select the switch from here so that will control and even the power also you can give the same process select this one and power select the db and give the arc wire or chamfer whichever you need you can give that one so for example this one also you need to give the power same process and uh, whatever lights or uh, in the in the model you can give the same process and and once you done that one just we need, we can give the tag also for this all the things okay though already i create a lot of video so right now i'm just showing how to give the tag for this wire for example if you selected this one so you can uh, you give a free end over here and it's showing like four right so just uh, give it and go to the annotate tab and uh, tag by category you can see it was showing four so we need to give some um, conduit type uh, means uh, wire types also right so just select this uh, this uh, this one and annotation family go to edit family so now it is showing like a type mark uh, is showing like that this one okay so we will keep it as it is and just i just know it that one and and select the wire first and go to edit type so you can see you can duplicate also this one 2 mm okay uh, y size just 2 mm wire we can give it okay duplicate and give like this copy this one and give a type mark over here just click okay okay the, the, you can see now it was showing like a um, uh, the, the wire size it was showing right now right so if you want to expand this one just go to here select this one just stretch it this one and if you want to change the um, like uh, the text size also you can change it 1.5 if you required as per the drawing standard you can give that one go to here load on the lo load it over there so you can see 2 mm square wire is, is there so another thing is like you go to here and you can choose the wire from here and you can simply take a wire to this one so this wire we can say like uh, we can edit this one and we just say like 1.5 mm 5 mm wire just click copy this text and uh, just uh, paste it over here click ok and just to give it to the wire size here so you can easily fix the wire size like this so automatically it will show all the wires and everything so this is just an example so <coughs> You can select this one selects all, all visible and um, um, just uh, just give from here you can choose the wire size whichever you need so i'm, I'm choosing 2.2 uh, two mm wire so you, you can give that one easily you can give the wire size over here so this is the method we are giving wire size for all the uh, all the wire size we can give on the, on this method so simply you can place the things like this place it like that okay for switches you can give 1.5 so this is the one method we are giving um, wire to this uh, wi wiring tags so as per your standards you can give the uh, different uh, kind of the wire so if you need to select similar uh, visible in the view so just change it 1.5 so then give a tag for this so you can simply arrange the tag like this so this is the one method we are using the uh, tag for lightings and everything so if you like my video please subscribe it if you understood something like that if you if you need something uh, any help about these things okay please contact me through comment box or whatever things if you need related to rivet electrical i can um suggest i can give a comment on that or i will clarify on that things thanks for watching thank you